back to class today. On my last video, I share a video on geolocation. Uh, this video is going to... I'm going to further more on geolocation today. Firstly, like I said, if you have yet, if you are yet to watch that particular video, do like to watch it. Thank you. My video on geolocation, I showed a step on how to turn on your geolocation. That's fine. Today, I'm going to be proceeding on how to do that. How to use some other features apart from the one I share recently. So now, uh, like I said on my previous video, so if you are here to watch that particular video, do you to watch it. Now, uh, to do that, the first thing is to what to set the setting the to set the venue settings, the location of that particular area. Then after you are done setting this, you click on the icon and then under this map font, you turn on the type of map that you want. So let's start from area, map area. So let's see what we are going to have for map area. So this is map area. Map area is going to show the map of that region, of that particular region. Uh, you can see the map area. But the thing is, the no street name is being shown on map area. So, in a situation whereby you need a street name for that particular area, maybe you are in to site and you don't know the street name of that particular map area. So, you can just do what you use the feature to the location of the security. Once you sign in, you can see how sign in here. Once you sign in, then you can map ID. So, this particular map ID to give you the street names as well. Not only the map, it's going to show both the street names. So you can see that uh, we have a turn on the map ID now. So it gives you the street names of all the environments. You can see the street name on the screen. Uh, you can definitely be able to put some features with this we use IP that the same as a map area. You can do a start pixel. Because, for example, maybe I need more details for my projects for my own. What I'll just do is I'll click on my only line and then I'll do what I'll pick out all the things I want. Let's I think I need this particular details to do. So I'll do what I'll zoom there to that particular location and then I'll do what I put the details of that building. So this is the details of the details of this particular building. And then another thing we have is when we are dealing with road, we don't want it to show map, we want it to be only on road, map, road map. So we can just change it to road. It's going to show the road and the speed mode of this road. So when we are dealing with something like speed guide. You can definitely use this particular feature of it and you need to or on your previous area, maybe you don't need the need for that map or that password. When you don't need the need of that password, you can turn the need feature to be able to identify the need. Uh, that is how to use a chain location. And after you are done, you can put it on the page. 
the WHF people to the British officials who are coming to this icon zero in the location the location of the now this is where I pick this is the previous line that I pick on the map so the students will be on your pickup environment. Now that is how to use the location features on CD3D. Thank you.